thanks for clicking on the video. This is episode two of the mini Viking shelter build. I'm using recycled materials from an old shelter to make this. So in episode one, I cleared the area. I then sourced all the materials. Well, I just, I just worked out what materials I had left over from that previous shelter. And using those materials, I built the frame, well, the main roof, and then I also built a bed. And before I put on that horrible blue tarp, which I just wanted to recycle and use again, I gathered a few small branches that were lying around on the forest floor and I just wove them in and out of the rafters just to give it a bit more strength and to stop the tarp from collapsing in once all the debris has been placed on the roof. So in this episode, I have covered it in the blue tarp and secured it with a bit of paracord. Again, leftover materials from that previous shelter. And then I've gathered lots of leaves, twigs, bark, moss, anything and everything from the forest floor and piled it on top. I'm expecting over the next few weeks, it's probably gonna slide down a little, but not that much. I'm expecting it maybe, maybe half a meter or so on the ridge, along the ridge there, to have slid down and kind of become a bit compact. That's fine. I'll come back, gather more materials and place them on top. It will hopefully reach a point where nothing can slide down anymore because it's all been just built up. Well, that's the plan. I've also gathered a bit of moss and the moss, I've just been using the moss just to fill these gaps, which will then keep it warmer, meaning the hot air will stay in rather than escaping and the cold air will stay out rather than seeping in. So I've done this side, I need to finish off this side. But before I do that, there's one thing I want to put in here before I build up the wall. I need to know how much room I have left over. Let's have a look. So now what I wanna do is install this. This I've been looking forward to using for the last few weeks. It's a, well, it's an oven. It's a pizza oven wood stove. It's got folding legs on the bottom. So I wanna open those up, place it in place. You can see right here, you can open this up you can have a nice roaring flame, you can cook directly on there or you can have a kettle off to the side that's the, that's the burn box in there and then obviously right here you've got the oven and it even comes with one of these little pizza things what's it called, a pizza peel? I think they're called a pizza peel and the best thing is that I have all the ingredients to make pizza right here, right now And if you're wondering what this is called, this is called fat wood. And it's great for fire lighting.
And there we have it, one pizza cooked here at the Woodland Camp in the Winnowell pizza oven. Which is a, it's a wood stove pizza oven. It's a great bit of kit, I've never used it before. I've always wanted to get one because they have an oven compartment which means you can bake food as well r rather than always bo um, boil or fry food. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to your suggestions in the comments telling me what to cook in there. What could I do? And I slow cooked something or I don't know, give me ideas in the comments. Right, let's try the pizza. When you're in the woods, there's only one way to cut pizza. Moment of truth. Well, it looks, it looks really good. I think the pizza base is a little bit thick for my liking. Um, maybe, I'm just, maybe I'm just being a little bit fussy already, but I'm sure it tastes good. Right, time to review my own pizza. Flavour's great, great ingredients, nice crunch from the, um, from the peppers, uh, the red peppers and the yellow peppers. Great flavour, the base is a little bit too thick for my liking. I'm not sure, I don't even think I made it that thick, maybe I put too much yeast in, I don't really know. Uh, base is a little bit too thick, flavour's great. Mm. Have a look at that, you can see it's cooked all the way through. But yeah, good pizza, spicy chorizo, which is never actually that spicy. I should have put a little bit extra chili on it, some chili flakes. The dough I made this morning, uh, I can't remember, I think it was about 330 grams of flour, about seven grams of yeast, a tablespoon of sugar, half a tablespoon of salt, something like that. Um, 250 grams of water, it was roughly those. But all you gotta do is just, just Google um, how to make pizza dough. Super easy. And I've got enough for another three pizzas. Look at that. So there's mozzarella, grated cheddar cheese, there's yellow peppers, red peppers, red onions, a bit of the tomato passata. Mmm, that's it I think. Really good. It's like a very, sh it's a very thin version of a deep crust. And I normally like those really thin, proper authentic Italian style, thin base pizzas. Mmm. Hey, but I'm not complaining. This is really good. Mmm. If anyone's interested in one of the Winnerwell stoves, I'll put a link down in the description. So I've been giving the leftover crusts to my dog, so there's no onion or anything like that. So yeah, that's it for this short video. Part two of the mini Viking recycled material house build, whatever you want to call it. Uh, as usual, please let me know what you want to see me build. Do you think I should build a table? I need to build a new table, to be honest with you. Uh, and maybe a bit of an area where I can prepare food on, because at the moment I'm always just using two or three log stumps and the table that I've made in order to prepare, prepare food. Um, yeah, what other projects can I do? I will also finish the back wall on the shelter and then I'll finish off the front. How I'll do the door, I don't yet know. But no worries, I have a few more weeks or plenty more time to do this with your suggestions. Type away in the comments, let me know projects, food, furniture. See you next week, goodbye.